trying to sweep it together. Okay. Alright, first two, head to head. Biomechanics is very physical and it's the, the, the principles it's based upon is this idea of at cast, which is the preparation for the movement, and then the persil, which is the movement itself, but the movement full of something, so the movement full of intention. So rather than just wandering, it's thinking of how you actually move with an intention through the space. So that's the movement with Persil. Then every movement needs to finish with a stoika or a finish point. So these are some of the things we've been exploring during the training. Um, and probably the other key thing is, is rhythm. We're going to walk around, keeping our feet in parallel and rolling from our heel to our toe. You can use your arms in that position to help you move. Try and find a rhythm to your walk. A rhythm, rolling through the feet. The culmination of the training um, is uh, culminates in etudes. By doing the etude, you are able to understand all of the principles of biomechanics. So in each etude, there are five in existence, are contained all the principles of biomechanics. So if you can do that, you have some understanding of it. So each etude starts with the dactyl. The dactyl sets the rhythm. So the dactyl is what happens at the start, it signifies the beginning of the etude, and it sets the rhythm for the etude. Dactyl, ha! Jump to the left. Ha! Preparation for the run. Ha! Very good. Okay. Good. Now, squat position. We're going to jump and fly there. Hold our knees and fly there. Jump back and land back down from here, okay? So you do a jump, hold yourself, hold your knees up as high as you can go. Try and get that feeling of holding yourself there and land back down. Ready? Hop! Good, I'll get up three times. We've had that period where we've just looked at the principles of biomechanics and um, and all the company are sort of trained in that now. Then, then we started to move on to scenes and how this work, these principles and this approach to theatre can be used in, in reference to text and script.